When you're working with Excel, oftentimes the formulas in Excel will end up giving you values that look kind of strange like this one here. So we have 2.35, a bunch of other numbers, and then we have this E minus 0, uh, 6. All right, so that E there tells you that, it's, uh, that Excel is giving you the number in what's called scientific notation. So when you have an E, um, you either have a very small number, which is what we have here, which you know that's the case when you have a, it says a negative something, so negative 0, 6, or you have a very large number, which would be just a positive number. So if this said positive 0, 6, that would be a large number. All right, so what scientific notation is, is a way of um, showing you more decimal points in a number without actually showing you all the zeros either before or after the numbers that are important. So what I mean by that is, so again, this is a very small number. It has a negative uh, exponent, so negative 0, 6 there after the E. Um, so if you look at this as 2.35, whatever, whatever, um, what we really have to do to get the, the actual number is move that decimal place over to the left, making it, um, so putting zeros um, in front of those numbers six times to get what the number actually is. All right, so this is something that confuses students a lot, but there's a very simple way to get Excel to show you the numbers, um, not in scientific notation, but in sort of a, a normal um, sort of lay notation. All right, so if you click on the cell with scientific notation, again, any cell that has this E with a, some numbers after it, and then um, at least in, this is the PC version of, of Excel, I'm sure in the Mac version it's very, very similar, but I'm not sure um, all the, the clicks and things like that for Macs. But on a PC, you're going to right-click that cell. You're going to go down to Format Cell. All right, so when that pops up, you're going to see it's on General, and it's showing you this value, again, in scientific notation with the E in the exponent. All right, so if we go to Number instead, it's now going to um, take it out of scientific notation and put it into a, a more typical number format. And so what you see here is, is 0, 0.00. So remember that was six decimal places that we would have to move it over to get an actual number. So if we look at this, um, we're going to increase the number of decimal points here until we get to actually see the number. So I'm going to keep hitting the plus or the up arrow, and it's going to keep adding decimal places until there we go. So those are the numbers there. So I'm going to hit OK, and now this is our value that it's showing in the, in the cell. So it'll make a little more sense to those of you not used to using scientific notation. All right, so really quick explanation of how to get out of scientific notation in Excel, which is something you're probably going to have to do if you're using any Excel formulas. Um, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer those questions. And please come back and watch another video to learn a little more about how to use Excel for research and um, sort of data uh, analysis. All right, thanks. Bye.